All right, guys. Sorry about the camera. I'm working on it. Anyway, so this video is going to be a quick introduction uh, to the interview process uh, geared towards the um, up and coming co college or high school graduate um, that's going to be working in the blue collar world, you know, blue collar fields. Uh, only coming from my experience. Uh, and I've gone on quite a few interviews and had a pretty good experience, regardless if I got the job or not. I think I only missed one or two out of maybe 10 interviews I've been on. I'm not an expert. This is just something that I'm trying to share with what worked for me in my life. Um, might not work, but give it a chance. Um, so first things first, if you're going to be applying to a job uh, that's posted, know the job, know what you're going to be doing. If you're going to apply to the sewer company, you're going to be working with sewer. If you're going to be applying to electrical, you're going to be around the electrical hazardous environments, right? Chemicals, if you're going to work at a chemical factory, right? So know what you're going to be around and can you, or do you want to do that? Number one, a lot of times, you know, you're out with your buddies. Hey man, hey buddy, come work with me, right? Make sure that it's what you want to do. Everybody worries about the dollar. And I get it. People want money. They need money to live. Supporting families. But sometimes if you go after the highest paying job, it might not be exactly what you want to do. So you might be better off going for a job that don't pay as much, but you'll be there longer. You move up through the ranks. And then the guy that started the other job, he stopped and started three other jobs and you're past them. So keep that in mind. It's not about the bottom line, okay, and benefits and all that go along with that, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, know the job. Get your resume. Get it right. Get it tight. No Crayola, no cardboard cutouts, no pencils. Make a good resume. Search it online, okay? Gear the resume towards the job you're going to be doing, right? Make sure if you don't have the skills in the background, explain that. This is what I'm doing. If you're going to apply as a meter reader, just from my own experience, okay, you got to have nice shoes, right? You got to walk. You got to be able to be physically able to walk, you know. But if you're going to apply for like a mechanic position, explain what you did. Even if you went to college, hey, I worked with tools, I had hobbies. Talk about that stuff. Gear that towards the position you're trying to go with. What are you going to wear? Guy out of high school, I don't know what kids wear in high school, college. A lot of people I see dress down, right? Dressing down. Saggy pants, flip-flops with socks. Probably leave the flip-flops with the socks at home, okay? But I've also seen guys with, like, suits on or going to a funeral or a wedding. You got to go easy with the suit. Man. Think about where you're going to be. You're going to be in a, if it's a township, I'll keep it as a township because that's my experience. You're in a township conference room. You're going to have your field foreman. He or she is going to be sitting there probably. You're going to have an HR rep. You're going to have an executive that might be wearing a business casual attire. You don't need to show up overdressed. It kind of shows naivety that you're trying to do something that's way out of reality of their daily life. But maybe it might impress somebody. Great. But to me, be yourself. If you don't wear a suit, you don't want to wear a suit, don't wear a suit. Okay. If, if you like wearing a suit, whatever. Um, the corporate world, you wear a suit. You wear the you wear the man man bag. You wear the, the you know the camel shoe, right? Whatever. You got to think about the position that you're applying for, and some questions that they're going to ask you. And it might be on your resume too. Put it on your resume. What is required? CDL within six months. Put it on your resume. Even if you don't have it, I'm going to be working towards my CDL. I'm in the process of sitting for the test or I got to do my air break. I got to get my this endorsement for that. Be specific. There's guys that probably have the job that you're applying for that haven't got their license yet. And the CDL is a big one for the township. They want to see that. It helps them to control also, you know, I think drug tests and stuff like this. There's a different requirement. So they push the CDL to prove that you're not on drugs. Makes sense to me. Don't be on drugs, right? Try not to be on drugs, okay? Um, be honest, okay? They're going to ask you questions. 
You just sit down, right? Shake hands. They're going to ask a question. Where are you from? Blah, blah, blah. And then they're going to throw the curveball. Where do you see yourself? That's not a big curveball. What can you improve on? What's areas that you'd like to improve on? That's one that'll get everybody. Be honest. Myself, I like to work by myself. I didn't say it like that. I said, I like to work by myself and I don't normally ask questions before I attempt things. And within reason, if I'm confident about something and I try to work through it, maybe I waste some time trying to figure it out before I call the manager. Because to me, what good am I if I'm calling the manager every five seconds? But to this day and age, there's a little twist to this. Teams, people want to be team oriented. I didn't get one job because I said this in an interview. So this is a negative, but I'm being honest. Okay. And I don't want the job if it's not going to fit me, right? It's got to fit me. I'm going to do it every day. I'm going to enjoy it as well as the person that's employing me. Um, so uh, I wasn't very team oriented. Maybe I could work on that. Be open. Oh, I will work on that. You know, be, people want to see honest. That's why you're watching me. I think because I feel like I'm going to add something to this channel is to be honest and everything I've gone through, even if it makes me look bad. That's why I'm doing this. I'm trying to show people that we could. So uh, the interview, you go through the steps, uh, shaking hands, right? I keep saying that's very important eye contact, even though I have a problem looking out the window. Um, uh, they're going to ask you about overtime. Do you want to work overtime? You want to work nights and weekends? Some kids don't want to do that. Some young adults, I don't want to be away from my family. I didn't. And that's one of the positions, the reasons why I left the one job is because I couldn't work that overnight shift, getting called while you're with a newborn or, you know, uh, I'm out in the pit with the woods and the trucks and things, birds hunting. I don't want to be worried about getting called in to go save the day. Um, know your certifications beyond the CDL, know what licenses that you might need. They're going to be asking you to get certified or, uh, in seminars. Okay. Up to date for OSHA, this stuff, make sure you're prepared to do that. Um, there's that liability thing where they want to train you to be safe. So you don't fall off a ladder and take six months off or, Hey, you were told that this is. They're going to, that, that's a new movement. Try to keep to not talking about other townships, other companies, if you're applying to a company. Word of mouth gets around. They send the workers to seminars while the managers go to seminars. The people that are hiring you have been on seminars and they trade uh, resumes off. Hey, did this guy, they're not supposed to, but did this guy apply? Yeah, this guy, she's this, then that, and the other. It gets around. If you're knocking other places, it's going to get back and it's going to look poorly and you're never going to get a job in, in that field at the surrounding area because they're going to know. And I know that from experience because I was friends with a manager and he said, hey, listen, I heard you went to apply to that place. We all know that you work here. Why are you applying? So unbeknownst to the manager I was talking to, I talked to the director. I said, I'm going to be applying around town. Because I'm thinking about going somewhere else. And he said, thank you for telling me. So be honest. It, it wastes time lying. Um, it wastes time. Um, so you're going to get the interview. You're going to get seated possibly. Because this day and age, I think everybody that applies gets an interview. Especially in the townships. But if you don't, don't get disheartened. Uh, it wasn't meant to be. Prepare yourself um, for the side, the side shots. Why would you want to work here? Uh, this like there might be a guy in the room that's disgruntled. Okay, disgruntled township workers are a real thing. So remember that. And if you're coming in and you're going to save the day, and I'm going to paint the curb and I'm going to put up the sign, a lot of times you'll put a target on your back. So just fit in, work with the group that you're talking to. Let them know that you're going to work alongside your coworkers, but you're going to strive to be the best. Don't.